The common base, or as some may call it, the grounded base circuit, is one of the three transistor amplifier configurations that can be used. Although possibly the least widely used, it's still very important and has some really useful features, as we'll discover. So in this video, I'm going to give you all the essential information about the common base amplifier, what it is, its characteristics, and where it's used. First of all though, what is a common base amplifier? As the name common base suggests, the base terminal is common to both the input and output circuits. This might seem a bit counterintuitive, but it offers some unique advantages. So how does the common base configuration work? Well, when an input signal is applied to the emitter, it causes a corresponding change in the collector current, which can be used to give a voltage gain. The way it operates gives some key characteristics. The main one is that the common base amplifier has a very low input impedance, making it suitable for matching with low impedance sources. Conversely, it has a medium or relatively high output impedance, so care is often needed in matching it to the next stage. The next characteristic is the current gain, as you might expect from the fact that almost the same current flows through the emitter and collector, the current gain is around unity. However, the voltage gain can be much greater and thus provides some useful amplification. Then the phase difference between the input and output is zero, again because of the common current flowing through the emitter and collector. Finally, the fact that the base is grounded means that this circuit has good isolation between the input and output, a fact that can be very helpful for RF amplifiers where feedback can cause the amplifiers to oscillate. In terms of their usage, possibly they are most widely used for RF amplifiers, especially at high frequencies. They can also be used as buffer amplifiers where good isolation is needed between the input and output. They're also used in some microphone preamplifiers, especially where the microphone may have a very low impedance. Ribbon microphones are a particular example. So if you need any more information about the common base circuit, head over to the description and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video. Thank you.